Hello everyone, my name is Vitor Mendes and welcome to DevScope channel. Today I will show you how to dynamically map your schema using mappings in the copy activity of Azure Data Factory. In order to do that, we will use some dummy data as source data. Since the majority of API responses comes in a JSON format, we will use uh, one simple JSON file as source for our demonstration in this video. We have already created one resource group with the resources that we will need for the, the demonstration. One storage account that you, you can see here and one Azure Data Factory. So in the storage account, you will have in the containers uh, a folder named landing, JSON and input. In here, we have the, the dummy data that we have uh, mentioned before, and is, it is called dummy data. Within this file, we have, we have dummy data that refers to different types of donuts, as you can see by the different names in here. And uh, inside each type of donut, we have one entity named toppings. And this, this entity contains an array that contains all the toppings which define the donut itself. Our objective is to show you how to dynamically, dynamically map the schema of your source. Therefore, we will copy the data from this JSON file that I have shown you uh, just right now uh, to one Excel file. We will start by creating a new pipeline named JSON Dynamic Mapping. In this pipeline, we will create one copy activity. And we will name it copy JSON data. In the source tab, we will uh, create a new source data set. We will choose Azure Blob Storage as data store and as a, a format type of your data you will choose json uh, data we will call it ds json and we need to create a new linked service we will name the linked service as sia alias sia devscope tips and as a authentication type we will choose system assigned managed identity then we need to choose the azure subscription and the storage account name that you you want and you can click create now that the linked service is created uh, we need to choose the, the the path to the file that uh, we want to ingest so in here json input and we choose the dummy data JSON file. Now we can click OK. And in the sync tab, we will create a new data set for the output file. We will choose Azure, Azure Blob Storage as a format to data store. And now we want to create one CSV, so we choose the limited text to, to format the file. We will call it BS CSV, and we will choose the, the linked service created before. In here, we just choose the path to the, the folder where we want to start the file. We will choose JSON and we click OK. We open the data set created and we have the, the, to the path uh, the output uh, folder that doesn't exist yet to force its creation. And in order to have control over the name of the output file, 
we will create a new parameter named file name in parameters tab. And we will have dynamically the parameter that we have just created. We check the box of first row as header to have the, the first row as header in the, the output file. Once we do that, we can go back to the sync tab in the copy activity and we will have the file name to fill. In here, we will fill the parameter with a concatenation of a fixed uh, prefix donut data with, a, with the pipeline trigger time formatted to one specific format of date and time. And finally, we will uh, add the file type. So, go here. And we add this function. As you can see, you have here download type, the specific type that we choose, and the file type uh, in the end. Finally, we get to the mapping tab. Here, in the collection reference, we choose the object topping from the JSON uh, source file. If you remember, topping is the array, the array within, within each object where the ingredients used in the different donuts are defined. In order to export this information at the donut level, we must define topping as the collection reference. This will cross-apply the nested JSON array with the data cell itself, creating one row for each topping. What usually people do is to use here the import schemas like I will show you. After clicking in import schemas, we will end up with this automatic mapping where we only uh, have to define the data types of each field and rename the columns if you want to. We can now publish the changes and run the pipeline. As you can see, the pipeline runs successfully. And if you go to the output folder, you can see the, that the file was created. And you can even see that the data in, in the file is correct. Here we got to the interesting part. The way that I have shown you uh, now, Imply that implies that the, the mapping is fixed, but you can make it dynamic. How? Let me show you. If you go to the JSON code of your pipeline, we will see a tag name translator. And if you look at it, you will notice that this is all that you have been uh, working on and you have here the mapping uh, that you defined. And this is all that you need to dynamically de define the mapping of your output file. Knowing this format and the schema beforehand will allow you to build this JSON structure using, for example, an Excel as mapping source, or if you want something more complex, you can even use one table in a database to store field names and data types and create a script that uses that information to build the JSON structure needed and pass it to the mappings. What we will do now, for demonstration purposes, is to, to create one Excel with this information and use it in the mappings instead of doing it manually. So, I have already created the Excel file named JSON Mapping and the Excel file have a column named JSON Mapping too and in this field we have all the, the information that we've seen before in the translation uh, uh, JSON code. I have already uploaded it to the input folder in here and to get this information we will add a lookup activity to the pipeline. We link this activity to the copy data on successful. Okay. In the settings tab, 
we will uh, create a new source data set and as a data store we will choose Azure Blob Storage and as the output format type we will choose Excel we will call it the S Excel and we will choose uh, LES SCI Dev Scope Tips as linked service we will uh, check the box of first row as header we will define the path until the, the file that we have uploaded and we will choose uh, sheet 1 as a, the sheet to use okay. in the copy activity in mapping tab we will cl clear the, the work that we have done before and we will substitute it with the dynamic content to do so we use the JSON function of Azure Data Factory that converts the input parameter to JSON format and we pass the output of the previous activity as the param parameter of the function after we publish the changes we can run the pipeline again to see the results Now that the pipeline ran successfully, you can go to the output folder of the storage account and you can see that you have a new file here that was dynami dynamically created. And if you go to the information that the, the file contains, you can see that it is uh, similar to the, the information that the manual uh, file uh, had. Hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, subscribe and stay tuned for more content.